Hi friends, today in this video, I am going to show you, how to make your own simple and powerful voltage regulator, using few components. And also I will show you how to make advanced voltage regulator, yet simple with proper PWM control. Use 1 mega ohms resistor, and solder between pin 3 and pin 1 of this MOSFET. Use 47 ohms potentiometer, and solder pin 2 with pin 1 of MOSFET. Take 470 ohms resistor, and solder between MOSFET pin 1 and potentiometer pin 3. Also connect a copper wire as ground with potentiometer. Use a 5 mm LED as output indicator. And use 1 kilo ohms resistor for LED to ground. Also connect one N4007 diode in reverse polarity, as output protection. Now connect the DC input wires over here. And output wires here between the diode. Here is the circuit diagram for the reference. Our circuit is almost ready. Now use heatsink for heat dissipation, and thermal paste is recommended to be used, since it transfers the heat to heatsink effectively. Now connect the DC input supply. I used these DC bulbs for testing, which is 12 watt each bulb. As you can see, with potentiometer, you can easily control the load. I will also add another bulb to the load. As you can see, it works perfectly and control the output load. But, the circuit has limitations, since it works without PWM signals, so it may waste more power that results to dissipate more heat. To add the pulse width modulation control, simply use a triple 5 IC, which is cheap and familiar to everyone, with some other basic components. And the MOSFET will now be controlled with PWM signals from triple 5 IC. For easy assembly, I converted schematics into the PCB. In order to manufacture this PCB, just go to the video description and with this link, sign up on JLCPCB website. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronic engineers to develop projects efficiently. Just upload your Gabber file here, to get instant quote and order in minutes, it is easy as online shopping. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. You can also change quantity and color of the PCB as per your requirements. Quality and lead time is reliable, all in-house production, ensuring stability and strict quality control in every process, and lightning fast PCB production, in just 24 hours. And then you can save to the cart for the checkout process. Also don't miss JLCPCB 6 layer PCB special, get $30 off with a coupon, and enjoy top quality 6 layer PCBs, plus 2 UENIG finish, and no engineering fees for wire in pads. I then ordered PCBs from JLCPCB. Get 1 to 8 layer PCBs for just $2, efficient large scale production reduces costs, and bringing you PCBs in unbeatable prices. And then I prepared the PCB for its components. So, let's place all the components into the PCB according to the circuit diagram.
and after spending some time with the soldering process, I cleaned the PCB with isopropyl alcohol. And here our PCB is looking nice and clean. Now take a triple 5 timer IC and install it into the IC base. Take a good size heatsink and then use little thermal paste for better heat dissipation. Use the silicone pad to isolate heatsink from MOSFET. Install wires into the input and output connectors. I first used this 21 watt blob for testing. Also I used the multimeter to track the output voltage to load. With this potentiometer you can increase and decrease the voltage. Since the blub is 12 volts, so I will set the same voltage. Now I will use 3 blubs in series to supply it about 30 volts. As you can see the circuit is working perfectly. And best thing about pulse width modulation controllers, it makes MOSFET to dissipate less heat, so power loss remains very less and working more efficiently. So, if you enjoyed the video give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.